Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 12th of February 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present. Raise your consciousness, remember why you are here, step out onto that spiritual path, come out of the closet and take the steps to take charge of your destiny in this lifetime and fulfill your life purpose. Now this week we're going to be using the Dragon Oracle Cards by Dana Cooper. I thought it appropriate as we're in the uh, Chinese New Year of the Dragon, so Happy New Year to everyone. Um, and always before I get started, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. And I'm so grateful to every single client um, I have. Um, you are absolutely amazing and I love being of service and helping you on your journey. And with that in mind, um, in March, on the 16th and 17th of March, I'm going to be um, starting the Angelic Reiki workshop training. So um, on the 16th and 17th of March, you've got a chance to uh, do Angelic, or to learn Angelic Reiki 1 and 2. So where this will give you a chance to connect more with the angels, find out more about yourself, maybe find some hidden gifts and talents that you're not quite sure of, but be able to work with the angels to do healing, not just on yourself, um, but on your friends and family um, and pets as well. So um, do check out the training and the full details. It's absolutely an amazing um, healing modality. I love doing it. Um, I love working with angels, um, so you, you know, um, so working with them and doing the healing as well is, is wonderful. So do um, check out the training, whether you just want to do one and two, three and four, go on and do a protect practitioners and actually practice angelic Reiki or even go on and become a trainer in angelic Reiki, which is an absolute amazing privilege. Um, and of course, don't forget the Glastonbury Treat um, running down in down in Glastonbury in April. Um, if you are interested, then please do let me know sooner rather than later, as all deposits have to be with me by the end of February. So um, please do check that out. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on to, uh, to do the cards, see what the cards have got in store for you this week. So as always, I bless my cards. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 12th of February 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? For the week commencing the 12th of February 2024. Well, we've had a couple of cards that have made themselves known. In fact, we had three cards that made themselves known, so I think we'll go with those. So we have the orange dragon, Bring soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth and oneness. Bring people everywhere together. Isn't that just an amazing um, card? Amiga Dragon. Harness the divine feminine power of creation. Intention. Hold your vision. Birth the higher consciousness. Another amazing card. And Source Dragon. Attune you to attune you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. Okay, so what the Aram cards are saying this week is that this really is a week to come together in one, is to come together as communities as one. And of course, where people are celebrating the Chinese New Year, which can go on, I think it's 10, 12 days. It is about bringing communities and people together. And that is something we should be doing more and more of. We shouldn't be allowing ourselves to be divided. We should be, you know, saying, OK, no more division. Let's get together, come together as communities. When we come together as communities in oneness, um, you know, in warmth, accepting each other as who, as who each individual is, but knowing we're all we're one, con one collective and we come together in that warmth, that joy, that love, we can create so much harmony in the world. We can bring so much joy, not just into our lives, but into other lives as well. So this week, really do, um, you know, take the time to work with others, to come together with others, 
you know, in that warmth, that friendship, that joy, you know, you know, be part of everything, you know, be part of everything together because that really will stand you instead and allow you to grow, bring, to grow, bring abundance into your life. And create, you know, when you're in that community of um, togetherness, oneness, it gives you the chance to create because you can work with other people's energies and all of you together can work to create, but you can also individually create. And each individual that creates something, it can blend together to become something even more magnificent. So what is it you want to intend? What do you want to bring into your life? What do you want to bring into your life that will be a benefit to you and to others around you? Hold that intention, create it, see if it aligns with other people's um, way of, of, of doing that. And know that even when you're part of a community, you are still an individual, you are still your own individual person. You know, and you can be in that silence, that presence, I am, I am enough, I am abundant. I am a beautiful human being. I'm a beautiful soul having a human experience. I am love. I am joy. I am peace. I am part of a bigger collective. So, so stepping into that I am presence is so, so powerful. I mean, when I was saying those words, it just gives you that sense of I am one, I am whole. I can achieve anything I want to achieve. And listen to the, listen to the silence. Silence has its own words. You know, before, when you go to bed, obviously if you've not got a partner snoring next to you or anything, but when you close your eyes and if, you know, sort of like the, uh, you know, where you've not got any noise outside, listen to the silence. Silence can give you so much information And it allows you to be in the present, in the here and now, which in turn allows you to be able to communicate and work with others in a bigger collective to bring about that joy, that warmth, that peace in the world. So yeah, that's really all the cards are saying to me this week. Now, as always, you may get a different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards, what you need to know for your highest good. Um, so if you do get a different message from them or one card stands out more than the others, let me know. I always reply to everyone who comments um, publicly or privately. So we have the orange dragon, bring soul families and communities together, spread belonging, warmth and oneness, bring people everywhere together. And you notice there's a bridge, you know, bridge any issues or disagreements with other people if you can. Come together as one. We are stronger when we are together as one in community, bringing warmth, joy to each other. Amiga Dragon, harness the divine feminine power of creation, intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. You know, stay in that feminine aspect of creation, of working with others, of bringing that intent, of bringing joy, happiness, peace into the world, abundance into yours and other lives. And Source Dragon attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence, magic can happen. Be in the moment. Take the time, you know, to have that, that peace, that quiet with you, listen to the silence. And maybe this week, wear some orange. You know, we've got, actually all three cards have got orange in them. So this week, wear some orange and see how that lifts your vibration up. Now, I've got to think, I do have an orange dress, so I will go and, uh, and wear that at some point this week. Um, so yes, don't forget to um, let me know in the comments how this reading went. And don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on the Sunday, takes place on Monday the 12th, if you're watching this on Monday the 12th, it takes place 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, hey, watch the replay. I've got the beautiful Elle Abbott on my show and I'm really looking forward to that conversation. It might be a little bit different to what you expect. And don't forget to check out um, the Angelic Reiki workshops that I'm running. And of course, most importantly, 
Glastonbury tree is going to be absolutely amazing. And of course, down in Glastonbury, we do work with the dragons of Glastonbury and it's always amazing um, when we go down there. And in fact, I do have a guided meditation um, where you get to meet your own dragon down in Glastonbury. And there's another guided meditation that I need to re-record that we recorded down in Glastonbury where we actually worked with the dragons. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Um, do check out what I do. Um, do become part of the community, look after each other. And wear orange. And I'll speak to you next week. Bye.